Hey everybody! In this video I am going to show you how to draw a kitchen using one point perspective. So in my previous videos where I've talked about perspective, it's basically just the appearance of depth on a flat surface. So we're making objects look like they're going back in space. And I think for this kitchen I'm just going to model it off of my own kitchen because I live here and I know what it looks like. So I'm going to start with just drawing a square or a rectangle for the back wall of the kitchen. And I'm going to make it a little small just so that I have room for everything that goes in the kitchen, like the cabinets and everything. All right, now that I have the back wall drawn here, I need to find the vanishing point. So the vanishing point is always at your eye level, so it really could be anywhere on this back wall here. Um, but in our case, just for simplicity's sake, we can put it right in the middle. So what I'm going to do is just create the back walls by lightly drawing an X inside of here to find the vanishing point, and then I can continue the walls outwards outside of these lines. So I draw the X lightly on the inside because I'm going to be erasing that later. So it's always better to draw lightly when you know you're going to be erasing. It's going to make your life a little easier. All right, so now we know the center point here is our vanishing point. Then we have the side walls, the ceiling, and the floor available to us. So at this point, we can start drawing in our features of the kitchen. So my kitchen's pretty narrow, like this is, and I've got cabinets up on top, and the sink here, there's a window here, my fridge and my stove are right here. So I'm just going to kind of work from that, and basically, We'll just be using the principles of perspective to kind of help us create these forms that are three-dimensional in an accurate sense. So if you think about it, um, we're basically just making a bunch of boxes because cabinets are essentially just boxes. So is a fridge, so is an oven. Um, and these boxes are all going to be going back in space towards the vanishing point right here. So what I'm going to do first is I am going to maybe start at the bottom and I'm going to kind of figure out how wide my cabinets are and bring them back. So I'm going to start by drawing a rectangle coming up from the corners of my walls And this rectangle is facing us. It's the side of the cabinets. So it's going to be just a plain old rectangle. And on this side, I've got a taller set of cabinets that reach all the way up. So Okay, so to start, I have these two rectangles, which would be the sides of my cabinets um, that we are facing. So now we need to make the tops and the sides that are going back in the, dif in the distance. So we're going to have kind of our converging lines that go from the corners of our objects to the vanishing point. I'm going to draw these lightly because I know I'm going to be making changes to them and erasing. Okay, from here I'm going to make the front cabinet where my sink is. So this is a little tricky in that we need to make sure that the um, countertop is actually coming out from the wall so it's not flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from this line here, or this sort of meeting place between the converging line and the wall, and draw a parallel line going straight across, and that's going to be the back of my cabinet. Okay, so I can erase these extra lines here because that's just the wall now. And I'm going to figure out kind of how thick this is by drawing a diagonal line here 
and then coming straight down so I'm parallel with this edge here. So this diagonal line is kind of like where the two cabinets come together um, and then this line is sort of the front face of this cabinet. So I'm going to draw across here and that's going to give me my other parallel line to draw. So that'll be going straight up and down. All right, and then on this side of my cabinets is where my fridge is. So I actually have kind of some breakup here. I've got one little set of tall cabinets. And then I have my fridge. So I'm just going to draw another parallel line here. And the fridge doesn't go all the way up. It's got a set of cabinets on top of it. So I'm going to draw a converging line to create the top of the fridge and also the bottom of the tall cabinets. And then right here we have another cabinet that's or countertop that's coming out from the corner. So I'm going to make another converging line and then at this point where it meets the back wall, we'll have another converging line going outwards. And from here, I'm going to finish making my cabinets. And I have another set of cabinets that kind of stick out right here. The cabinets that come out right here line up with the depth of these cabinets right here. So I'm going to draw a parallel line going upwards to kind of indicate where those cabinets are. And then a converging line to create the bottom of them. So I want to make sure I have enough depth here for the counter space. Okay, so we've got one side kind of blocked out. Now we can move on to creating the cabinets that are on top here. So again, we're going to start with this rectangle, but up here to indicate where the top of the cabinets are. And it's the same depth, so I'm just going to continue the line upwards. I'm going to lightly draw a line across here to tell me where the top is because it's parallel. And I know that these cabinets and these cabinets are the same right here, so I'm going to just make a mark as to where they need to end up so I can make sure I have the right height. Okay, from here, I'm going to start adding in other details like the cabinet faces, um, the stove, the sink, window, all that sort of thing. Um, so I'm just going to kind of speed stuff up because at this point, we're just making converging lines and parallel lines and connecting them to the vanishing point. Um, so I've kind of explained the main processes at this point. So just keep watching and have fun.